has your your process changed at all since you began acting? Uh, my process of acting? Yeah. Uh, yes, it, it's changed in the last two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where you don't figure out one thing to do, um, and then you do it for the rest of your life. I think, I think it's like everything you do, any sort of craft that people work at. You know, you you try things and you figure out new things, and it evolves, and it becomes, um, you know, something that's new and alive. And we're we're all students all the time. No, I'm certainly a student. I still read the same books that I've been reading for 30 years. Every couple of years, I pick up this one particular acting book. It's so good and Every time I read it, each time I, I learn something new from it. So, no, my process is, is, is completely different. And I'd like to think it's a little bit, it's getting better. <laughs> I don't know. Now, do you find, you fi you find yourself uh, choosing different types of roles as, as, as the years go on? Um, well, I've always had a pretty good commitment to um, uh, wanting to go new places. I, I think of... Uh, I think the business thinks of me as a character actor. I, I, I think of myself as a character actor. Um, so, you know, I, I, I could tell you, I could tell you sometimes, uh, I, like recently I was, uh, I completed work on a, on a film and, and then a couple of months later I was offered another, another film that was uh, very similar in nature, but the part itself was almost identical to the other guy. It was a military guy, the way he walked and talked and I said to, uh, I said to my agent, uh, uh, no, and they were like, why, it's really good. And I said, because I just, I just played the guy. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure what to do. I, I guess I could play the same guy again in another movie, but I don't, uh, I don't really want to repeat myself. So I'm always looking for something new. Now, what's your process like on the set? Do you, do you like to, are you spontaneous? Do you like to, like to improvise? What do you, what's your process like? Well, you know, improvisation is, is something that's really up to uh, a director and... Do you, like to be, do you like to rehearse? I, I love to rehearse. Um, and I think it's important. I love to rehearse. You know, oftentimes we'll be ready to shoot a scene and, and the first AD who runs the set will say, uh, you know, should we shoot the rehearsal? And I'm always like, absolutely. Yeah. Roll the camera because, you know, the mistakes are oftentimes the interesting thing when the wrong line comes out or something happens. Um, uh, you know, that's the thing that more often than not ends up in the movie because it was spontaneous and it was real. But I love to do that. But, you know, I have to say, I'm, I'm old school from coming out of New York and working with playwrights where the word is gold. And, you know, if there's, if there's great dialogue, uh, uh, there's no reason to try to improv it. For what? I mean, right. just try to realize, you know, what the words are on the page and make them come to life. So now, what's, you've worked in television, film, stage. What's, do you have a preferred, uh, a preferred medium? I, I like working on, um, uh, in uh, films probably more than anything. I think there's, uh, you know, the process to making a movie, even an independent movie that is sometimes is made on a wing and a prayer, there tends to be a, a little more time for the process. Uh, big films, you know, I worked on The Lone Ranger for seven and a half months and um, four months last summer on uh, Independence Day. So, you know, your, your page count every day could be like, you know, on a big movie could be a page, right. page and a half. Uh, you know, it's a lot of attention to detail. Where a small indie film, you know, you might, I've shot films in 17 days, right. um, over 110 pages, so you, you really got you got to crank. And does that, does that perfect, uh, affect your performance then? Having big, small, uh, big no, films? No, not really. I mean, everything is preparation, you know. Um, I, I enjoy the, the getting prepared for a role as much as I do the actual shooting of it. Um, I sometimes, there are films that I've done that I, I haven't seen. Um, you know, the older I get, I don't know, I watch myself and I'm like, uh, what, are you, what were you thinking about? Uh, but I love doing it right. and I love getting ready for it. I usually need to see a film about three or four times before I, uh, you know, I, I may give it like a sign of approval. Can you separate yourself from the process when you're watching it? Well, I remember everything. Right, yeah. You know, I remember everything. I remember the day. I remember, you know, that's what's a little tricky about television, because sometimes you'll shoot a television show, and it's on air in two weeks. Right. And that's why anything I've worked on on television, I absolutely refuse to watch, because, because I'll watch it, they'll play it on television, and I'll look at it, and I'll think, I don't know why they took that take. That was, that was the one that didn't work. It just, you know, it ends up pissing me off, so I, um, I can't watch it. 
Now, you came from Buffalo, which is a pretty blue-collar town. Did, did that inform your... Come on, let's get to Buffalo Regional High School. <laughs> Class of 74? 74. Um, has, did that in, in any way um, inform your, your acting, like how you proceed with acting, being some, something from you know, a, a relatively blue-collar town? Uh, you know, maybe some ways in um, my working sensibilities about, you know, a way of working. And, you know, I think Buffalo is, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're not a bragging sort of people. And we're, you know, Buffalo's a tough town. And we, you know, we, we work hard. It's what you have to do to live here. Um, I think in that respect, it, it certainly has. But, uh, you know, it's not like when I grew up, I went all of high school and all of college in the, in the 70s, 70 to 78. And um, it's not like, you know, it was, this is pre-computers and age of information. You didn't know anybody that was an actor. I mean, if somebody said they were an actor, you were like, really? Right. How'd that happen? Um, so I can't say that I was influenced by, you know, all of the theater that was happening around me. If there was a play in high school, I can tell you I skipped it. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much for taking the time. Uh, my pleasure.